Hello fellow Androidians. Well, I guess we're Androidians. Fellow Android friends, welcome to another episode of The Mandroid Show, starring me, David the Android Junkie, over at androidspin.com. Androidspin.com, we put a spin on Android. We really do. Anyways, guys, I thank you for joining me. Basically what The Mandroid Show is about, just a show about recapping the week in Android, because we love that little guy so much. All topics that I talk about today will be listed in the links down below, which you can find at androidspin.com. Have I said androidspin.com a lot already? It's called promoting. All right, let's get started. All right, we're all waiting patiently for that delicious treat ice cream sandwich to come out on our phones. Any day now, guys. I kid, I kid. I have full respect for all the developers that develop these ROMs for our phones. I mean, they are way smarter than me. And they create some delicious treats. Team Syndicate has created a ice cream launcher as a home launcher replacement. Now, of course, naturally, when this launcher came out, it was full of bugs. I believe mine forced closed a lot. But Team Syndicate is pretty good at frequently updating their launcher. They have recently updated their launcher to 1.3.0. Still got its bugs to tweak out, but go check it out. There's a free version and also a version to donate that's exactly like the free version, go ahead and donate to them. Because developers are people too. You know, they need food and shelter and underwear and stuff. Am I right? All right, keeping up with the ice cream sandwich topics. Any guys rocking a Nexus One? How about our Nexus X? HTC Thunderbolt? LG G2X? Damn it, I got the G2 without the X. Not fair! Well, if you take a look in our forums, we have a list of ROMs just for those phones. More coming, of course. And just remember that some of these ROMs are still a work in progress, so a lot of crap doesn't work. So make sure you back up all your stuff because that sucks when you lose it all. I've cried many nights. All right, Google TV owners, you are finally getting the much needed and much anticipated honeycomb update. When you ask, early next week, I guess. At least that's what they're telling us. This new update is gonna be rocking a completely redesigned UI, making navigation a breeze, and it'll be offering an all apps icon, which shows a list of all your applications, similar to your app drawer on your device. There'll also be an app called TV and Movies that'll easily help you search through the gazillions of movies and TV episodes across your cable, your satellite, Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. Hannah Montana! YouTube viewing has also been improved by bringing in HD quality videos to your big screen. They've also enhanced finding YouTube videos by integrating YouTube into the Google TV search. So that's pretty awesome. Finally, the most demanded ability, access to the Android market. Now, of course, apps that require touchscreen aren't gonna be listed in the market, but about 50 developers have tried their best to bring these applications to your TV. Awesome job, guys. They've also reported that more software updates will be coming in the later months with devices supporting new chips and multiple hardware manufacturers. Maybe Android Spin will give me a Google TV. I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Maybe. All right, guys, you looking for a good third-person shooter on the Android market? Well, take a look at this. The game is called Shadow Gun, very similar to Gears of War. The catch? You gotta have a Tigger 3 tablet! The controls are simple, responsive, and accurate. So, Tigger 3 tablet users, have fun playing for hours and hours in your parents' basement. Sorry, that was mean. All right, let's talk some tweaks of the week. Anybody looking for a 3D flip clock and widget that is beautiful and full of awesomeness for free? That was just a question. I have no idea where to find one. I'm kidding. Don't yell at me. Joy27 has created such a widget. This widget has a certain familiar sense flip clock feel to it, where it displays a flip clock in weather, also shows your battery life, and you can set the clock to do many operations, such as beep every hour, sunrise, sunset times, and you can set the humidity and wind conditions. You also have 36 skins to choose from, as well as five weather skins and five fonts for your clock. Did I mention it was free? And that's all you need right there, folks. Just a no-brainer. All right, another little tweak that we got. Something to get you slightly closer to that Galaxy Nexus that we all want. The app is called Nemus Camera or Nemus. Tomato, tomato. I'm gonna say Nemus because that sounds better. Nemus camera, of course, in beta. If you guys don't remember in the demonstration of the Galaxy Nexus photo application that it has in there, you have the ability to uh, mess with any picture you want, make your friend's face look more messed up than it is, or better if it's already messed up. Because you'll have about 17 effects to choose from, so do whatever you want. Check out this picture I took of myself. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. Happy Halloween! Aw, so cute! Android Bell announces new special edition Android figures. Oh, we all love those little guys. And I have yet to get one. 
fail. Well, in honor of Day of the Dead, or should I say Dia de los Muertos? Is that good Spanish? A new special edition mini will be available on the Dead Zebra website in two batches. 11 a.m. Eastern Time and 11 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, November 1st. So go check it out and add to your little Android collection. How do you say Android in Spanish? Androidio! So the other day we reported that we were going to be part of a contest with Appbacker Exchange with goals of helping you developers get your apps out there. Basically taking the hard work and time by putting your apps in numerous app stores for people to access. Basically we called it Build a Maze and Break It! Well we have our first developer to finish with their app. The app is called Bro Lifeline by Techiesoft. Hopefully I said that right. Basically what this app does is to help us men in certain life situations. That's good because I need a lot of help. Such things as background noises to make it seem like you're somewhere in public to get you off the phone. What? No, no, I'm, I'm at this crazy restaurant, man. I, I gotta get off the phone. Seriously, I don't want to hear about your mom's weird growth on her leg. I, yeah, I gotta go. It's really crowded. I can't, I can barely hear you. Pickup lines. Your lips are kind of wrinkled. You mind if I press them? Pep talks. <laughs> oh, she broke my heart, man. I just... <laughs> Better to have loved and lost than living with a psycho the rest of your life. <laughs> That's poetic. And excuses to get you out of life certain situations. Yeah, I'm sorry, officer, I know I'm speeding, but I, I got explosive diarrhea. <laughs> so anyways, guys, there you go. It's a pretty funny app. It's very entertaining to go through. And if you're not going to really use it in life situations, just have a few laughs with your friends. And definitely give some of those pickup lines a try. Well, all right, guys, that's all we got this week. Again, I thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel. Every Friday, there's a new Mandroid show just recapping the week in Android. Like I said, all the topics I talked about down in the links below. So check out all the articles on AndroidSpin.com. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. Show love with a like. We appreciate it. We love your faces. Check out my other channel, the Film Junkie channel, where I do uh, movie news and some film reviews. Leave a comment down below with what you thought of the show. Get some good feedback. If you got some bad feedback, just let us know why exactly you didn't like the show. And then, of course, we'll take it into consideration and try to make the show better. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching again. I'm David, your Android Junkie, and this has been the Mandroid Show. Do you have a map? Because I keep getting lost in your eyes.